Hey everybody, it's David Pingree. The gang at Race Tech invited us out to uh, try one of their suspension settings. So we dropped off one of the Racer X machines, the Yamaha 450, a bike that has had some uh, handling issues, you might say, uh, with some circles of professional racing. And uh, the Race Tech crew was up for the challenge. They uh, thought they had a good setting for it that we might like, so we came out to Cahia Creek today and, uh, and worked through it with those guys. The first thing I noticed about the Race Tech suspension is just how much more plush it was over the stock stuff. Um, those are uh, typically sprung for 180, 185 pounds is what it seems like and valved for that type of weight. So um, just jumping on right away, I noticed little bumps, accelerating chops, stuff like that. It just, it's so nice. It's like a Cadillac compared to the stock settings and uh, I had ridden this bike several times stock prior to this so had a good feeling for what it was like. Um, you know the next thing you kind of look for is whether or not when you land hard if it's going to blow all the way through the stroke. It's nice to have that supple feel initially but you've also got to be able to ris resist bottoming uh, in case you uh, short or long a jump or just you know drop down into something hard and no issues there at all. I uh, had a really nice progression to it. Um, never never fully bottomed it out metal to metal so um, that's good to know you know I've, I've even got room to go softer if I needed to what it really did also was settle the back end down you know this bike uh, got a little bit of a reputation as having a busy rear end like a drunk girl at a dance club can I say that anyway uh, this settled it down quite a bit um, really really plush coming out of turns hitting a little uh, chop out of ruts and things like that and uh, just good all the way through to be honest with you. Uh, one thing I did learn from riding this bike a little more today, I got a, a little bit better feel for, for maybe some of the, the reasons people would have issues with it. It's, it's so quick to react. Um, any, any throttle change, any turn with the handlebars or lean with the bike and this thing is very active. So somebody who would ride really aggressively or over the front uh, sort of trying to lead the bike is gonna, gonna maybe have more problems with this bike than someone who's smoother, maybe a little bigger and can get their weight further back. Um, and so that kind of makes sense with what we're seeing uh, across the board from people who, who really like this bike and guys who struggle with it. Uh, so uh, anyway, bottom line, this stuff worked great and it was a, uh, I mean, just twofold improvement over what the stock stuff is. Uh, you know, you got to remember when you when you have stock suspension, that is just a very broad setting that's designed to work okay with all different, um, you know, skill levels and weights and things like that. So, uh, just taking and having these guys throw in a setting for my weight and skill level was was amazing. Just how how close they got it. Uh, I think we changed uh, two clicks up front and maybe four in the back, and we were right there. So, uh, stuff worked great. My hats off to Race Tech. Those guys did an awesome job. How's it going? This is Rob Brown from Race Tech. I'm um, out here with David Pingree and the Racer X guys. Kind of approached him about a YZ450 and setting it up for David here. So what first thing we did is put gold valves in it. Um, we definitely, as far as the force are concerned, we resprung, changed the compression valving. We also approached a mid valve, rebound, and so on. Um, also looking at preload. And one of the big things with this bike is it does have a lot of geometry concerns and um, one of the first things we do is we approach it by we typically run the forks flush on this front end. Um, bike tends to have trail issues which consist of not having front end grip and the rear feeling stink bug so we run the forks at full height on this bike. Um, next thing we did was we went to the shock and we resprung that then we put a gold valve in that <clears throat> then again went towards compression and rebound damping and then we also looked at the, the shock length itself itself again and we're looking at geometry again on that. One of the things we did first was we lowered the rear shock, keeping the rear end of the bike down, um, creating a lack of stink bug feeling which is typical for this this chassis. Um, seems to be everything David was looking for. We uh, put the initial setting in, um, we've actually changed the fork compression two clicks um, and on the rear we went four clicks on the compression and that was our only changes. Uh, based on David, he really didn't have much more to change after that. Obviously, David's uh, ridden plenty of top of the line suspensions and very, very experienced. So we're really proud to have him happy this quick and uh, right out of the gate with a baseline setting. And, you know, we couldn't ask for more out of that.